off. It's a very wholesome name. No. Huh? No, I got you. You got me from here? I promise you. Okay. I hate to be off the camera if we're going to do it. In the dark, I call it. I'm supposed yeah. to have a TV show eventually. All right. That's why I do this. The Tom and Jay TV show? No. Tom and Jerry. Milo. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Just one clip on TV. Let's see. 36 and we're started probably in a couple of seconds. Funny, I don't have any way of knowing if the recording's going to be good because we should check. Talk into that mic. Check, check. Keep talking. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the reverb off. Four score yeah. and seven years Tom, ago. Turn, turn the reverb's terrible. Oh, this I can't. It's on the lower left-hand side. I did. It's turn great it. for saying it, but for interviews. I did turn them down. Today, today, today. I consider myself. Echo, myself. echo, echo, no echo, 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 echo. Check, one, two. I turned them there. down. There isn't any more. Check. It's still there. Is it still there? It yeah, I think they're down at the lower left. I, 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 I don't... I, I turned them down. Check. What's that fancy flashlight Check. you have, huh? I don't know. He didn't bring it to me, so I can't tell. see anything. Let's have a look. Usually they have a button you can turn off. Oh, really? No, no, no. I thought it was like a thing. Control, lower left, I think. I think it's... It's not working. Facts. 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 That should do it. Check. Check. Yeah, yeah that did it. That I got a I had them off pretty good. I just put a touch on for the concert. You know. Tom, how's this mic coming across? Oh, let me check. Go ahead, talk. Testing check, one, two, check, three. Check. Keep talking. Tom Ball Radio Show. No, you guys talk into the mic. Testing one, two, three. That's better. How's the sound? Okay, I have to bring it up. I'd rather really have it down than, than not. Just give us, give me a signal now. Oh, the first, well, first off, before we do anything, let me tell them, I need you to do your little uh, ID. Say, say who you are, say your name right. Is it Rita or is it Rita? Rita. I said Rita, didn't I? Or did I say Rita? Somebody said I said it wrong. I swear I said Rita. But I don't look, if I did, i will take that out. I won't like that because I don't like to make mistakes with my guests. Okay. First thing you got to do is say, "I'm Jeff and Vita, and we're listening. You're listening to Twisted Tom Radio, and you can say we're from Nashville, and you listen to Twisted Tom Radio, and that's it. Dot com. com. Thank you. Dot com. And that's all you have to do. And then that starts it off. And you know what? They don't need to put that on there. So go ahead and do that first. Hi, I'm Vita from Jeff and Vita, and you're listen, listening to TwistedTomRadio.com. Twisted Tom Radio, and I like to have both of you talk. Yeah. So, Jeff and... I'm Jeff. I'm... Mary, I'm your Tom. Huh? I'm Jeff. I'm Vita. <laughs> it's Captain. <laughs> I'm Jeff. I'm Vita, and you're listening. And we're Jeff and Vita, and you're listening to Twisted Tom Radio. TwistedTomRadio.com. Hey, this is Jeff. And I'm Vita, and you're listening to TwistandTomRadio.com. Give me a signal. You're on. Oh, gosh. Keep it out okay, of the Okay, here we are with our special guest, Jeff and Vita, and it's a one whole place, the Hunky Tonk House Concert Series. Hi, folks. Howdy. Hi. You know, I'm going to ask you the history of Jeff and Vita. What's the history? Well, uh, about ten years ago, we moved down to New Orleans, and... Uh, we started doing a few open mics with original material and kind of went from there. From that open mic, we, we got hired for a gig at the venue and decided the next day that we should quit our day jobs and do it professionally. It, it took a few years to get the ball rolling, but uh, we were unemployed and playing music full time. And we just took it from there. We're still doing it and continue to. Well, uh, both of you now. Uh, Jeff, uh, do you have any musical influences that you have now, or maybe when you were just growing up? Yeah, I have a lot of musical influences. I like a ton of stuff. I grew up listening to a lot of classic rock and roll and some Grateful Dead, and that sort of led me backwards to the, the people that influenced uh, those people, which were a lot of roots musicians, and uh, I a lot of the blues and country and, and bluegrass, and 
sort of stayed back there. I really, I really fell in love with that stuff and uh, kind of have been going from that standpoint ever since. What about you, Rita? I grew up listening to all different kinds of music. Um, I think I was probably around 12 or 13 the first time I heard bluegrass. Um, and it wasn't old bluegrass, it was actually Tony Rice tune. He was doing me and my guitar, I think. Um, and I kind of took it from there. I, I never was a performer. I knew three chords on a guitar. Uh, primarily, I wanted to be a songwriter. So, um, I, yeah, even to this day, I, I'm still influenced by all diff different kinds of music. But I guess the genre we're playing at this point could be considered more country bluegrass. Um, and so I, I've been listening to it for a few years. All right. Can I ask you about your website and your CDs you released in the past, and uh, where would those folks get those? In your website, or would they go to CD Baby, or what? Yeah, all the above. You can visit us at uh, jeffandvita.com, or you can look us up on CD Baby. We're also on iTunes, and uh, all, all of our records are available online. And do you want to talk about those records? How many have you released? I know there's three over here that I haven't... I guess I have never seen them. I thought I had one of yours, but I guess I don't have any. <laughs> we, uh, I think we recorded our first record back in 2000 or 2001, and that's no longer in print, but you can get it online. It was called One Horse Town. Um, the three records we have with us now, we have our earliest attempt at bluegrass. It's called The Simplest Plans, and then we followed that up with an electric record. And it was really, it was experimental for us. I'm really proud of it, but it is kind of dated at this point. Um, in between the Electric record and our latest album, Selma Chalk, we released a live record, which is also available online. And it has a lot of um, different songs that we plan not, on, not to record. So if, you know, if there's a few tunes during our set that you like, they'll, you'll probably find it on that live record. And then our latest release is a record called Selma Chalk, and I, at this point it's the one I'm most proud of. Um, I think the songwriting and the performance has matured, you know, as we have over the years. I, I'm kind of looking forward to recording one at this point, because that one's already a few years old. Um, and just see what direction we take it in, but that's, basically that's it. You know, that's, that's what our records are about. You can kind of watch us grow as we've been playing, you know, over time. For you folks that are listening to us on twistintownradio.com, here's some more tunes from the Honky Tonk House Concert Series in Streetsboro, Ohio. Songwriting. Where do you get your best ideas for songwriting? <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough question. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I don't get best ideas, but I do try to write every day, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. And uh, it kind of leaves the door open for inspiration. And so I'm always trying to find something that's going to move me deeply. And it doesn't necessarily have to be an idea. It can be a word or a picture or something I see or someone I meet. Um, but by trying to write every day, it, it kind of just keeps those juices flowing. Well, I 